the students come here to CSUN to present their research. So they don't only have it published in the journal, but they present it. It takes really a true pioneer to do this extra work in getting the students excited about science. The things that we find that are most difficult is doing something that's interesting to them, getting something that they're excited about and that they want to do. My research project was on how sugar and yeast would make gas. My project was if we perceive time passes by faster when music is playing. We've had programs in which we've had the teachers come and do workshops and work on research with us. It began to be apparent that the journal was just a, a perfect way of showcasing uh, the student research. Research is so important. And the reason they need to learn the research is because they need to learn about new things. And with the journal, they are allowed to pick whatever individual project they want to do, and they work on it. I think they're already scientists because they have a lot of questions, too. And their curiosity is, knows no bounds. So uh, as a result, I. Basically, all I do is point them in the right direction. What the journal does is it's, it shows you that you can publish, and then they can envision maybe in the future publishing uh, for real, but this is for real. Then all of a sudden, they come back and they say, I got in the college my choice because uh, I use that as a, as a reference. And one of the things that I really enjoy is the impact of it on students and it validates science for both boys and girls, young men, young women, and gives sub substance to the work that they do even as students. We get more applause and more yay when every student comes up and gets their medal than at, at any football game. What makes this so special is the support from the administration. They support these projects with real money. Because I always tell them that you know, when they go up and get their medal, it's, they're, they're practicing for their Nobel. And I constantly tell them we need 100,000 scientists in the next 10 years, and you're it. You know, so you have to, you have to go out there and save the world.